On the 5th of January 2013, I brought a four-day ticket to Vietnam. Having never been there before and not knowing what to expect, I knew I was in for a massive experience. Morning guys, <clears throat> it's roughly about almost six o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way to the airport. Drizzly day, but I can tell it's gonna be a good one. The first leg of my journey was a seven hour flight to Kuala Lumpur, most of which I spent pissing off the guy next to me with my snoring. After that, we landed in Vietnam, and all I wanted to do then was go back to sleep. Was Vietnam the culture shock I was expecting? Ooh, what can I say? Massive day I've had today. Yes. After gaining the courage to step out of my hotel, the first thing that struck me was the chaos. Vietnam is barely bigger than the state of Victoria, but with 90 million people, scooters are the main means of transportation, and the main means for impressing the ladies. So after dodging scooters all day, I spent some time in the markets, temples, and drinking cocktails. Then I hopped on a tutut -tut and learned how to make rice paper. You're on. Okay. In the middle? In the middle. Well, I tried at least. And that's my finished product, compared to those ones there. I'm going to be going through all like the um, holes and that, that were used by the Viet Cong in the Vietnam War. So it should be an interesting day. It's a little bit early for me, so um, I'll see how I feel in about an hour or so. So, I'm ready to rock and roll. Going down into the entrance. There's another entrance to some of the tunnels and apparently some of these tunnels actually follow all the way out to the Mekong River, so it's quite a fair way. As you can see in this picture of this mannequin, in the night time they wear black stuff and in the daytime they wear all the green stuff obviously for camouflage, stuff like that. This is the tiger cages, where the Americans held some of the Vietnamese soldiers captive. Despite having plenty of cells free, prisoners would be crammed into as few cells as possible in the summer. But in the winter, they'd be limited to one per cell, leaving them to freeze to death. Despite the poverty, the questionable waste disposal and the dirty congested streets, Vietnam has three things to offer. Culture, people and beauty. I've had a bad time while I've been here. It's been really good. 
talk to you shortly. And after an interesting few days in Vietnam, it was finally home time.